All right. Get it, get it out of the vault here. What's in the vault today? I don't even know. Well, you do because you, you did. F- I did it. You, you well, you filmed it. So oh, yeah. we have the low power thing, and then we have the Linux feather. Yeah. So I'm gonna play the first video, and then we'll play the the Linux feather thing. Yeah. All right. Hey, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, I'm working on um, Rev C of my ESP32 S2 Feather. And you might be wondering, well, why did I have to revise this? Well, I kind of messed up the power stuff a little bit because I used, um, I had the pull up resistors connected to the three volt line, and I'm switching on and off the power. Um, but if you look here at my PPK output, um, my power never really gets below about 720 microamps, which is really, really high. If you look at my oscilloscope, the voltage never gets below 1.3 because I'm getting that leakage voltage from the uh, two, five, 10K pull-ups. Um, they're kind of self-powering or back-powering the i squared C bus. So with Rev C, I switched it to use a regulator. So when I swap out to this Rev C PCB with the exact same code, um, first thing is you see that the voltage definitely goes between three volts and ground. And on the power test, zoom in. And a whole lot of people wanted a Linux feather, so here's a little bit of a preview. Uh, yeah, well, there's, there's already been... This is an all-winner F1C200S. It's the uh, big sister of the F1C100S. Uh, this is one of those kind of famous all-in-one Linux on a chip type things. It's actually got RAM built in. All it needs is some external um, uh, NOR flash and maybe an SD card. And it's like a full Linux computer. It's not a very fast one. Um, but, you know, it may be enough to run some simple Python scripts. So I thought it would be fun to design a feather. So I started uh, the schematic capture uh, with an SD card, uh, micro USB host. And so I'm starting to lay it out where you'd have a CP2104 for the serial console. Maybe it would be battery powered. Wouldn't last a long time on a battery, but you know you could run it uh, on a battery. Uh, micro USB host out here. And then, you know, I started to get all the other components going. And um, I think the micro SD card will be on the bottom. So uh, Linux Feather could be coming soon. Okay, you were saying. Sorry, I was so excited. Um, I actually wanted to make a Linux Feather for a really long time. I got these MediaTek modules a long time ago. Um, but, uh, you know, I, what I like about this is um, it's very inexpensive. And, like, there's people who've used this chip. There's, like, this Linux business card. And um, there's build root support for it. So um, I thought it could be a good start because it's inexpensive enough that if it doesn't work out, I don't, I don't feel too bad about it. Okay. And that's Top Secret for the week.